Every generation has a moment where they come just to have some fun. Atlanta is the mecca for black people in America. It has multiple historically black colleges. In the 80s, we said, let's plan a picnic during spring break. Let's call it Freaknik. Freaknik was the greatest black gathering in America. It was like an entry point into the black cultural experience. To be able to be in the middle of the street, dancing, laughing, playing your music, it's a moment. The interstate, the highway, was a street party. There wasn't even a word called twerking, it was called booty shaking. There wasn't no social media, barely had internet. During Freaknik, stars start coming in. You would see Tupac, Cookie Mob, Outkast, Usher Raymond. I don't know what heaven looks like, but this seems like a version of it. You was lit, okay? The legacy of Freaknik is black joy, black self-determination. Black love, black excellence, black enterprise. But the legacy of Freaknik is also the ugly side. This started to get a lot more out of control. People were coming by the masses. What the hell just happened? If you tried to bring back Freaknik, it wouldn't be what it was. The streets, the people, the debauchery. The things that I saw, insane. We had no inclination to the death that we were creating. Them kids ain't know nothing about Freaknik.